Dean from Dan's Critter Acres. Uh, I'm setting up a brooder for my coil. Uh, here I'm laying out the opening for the hardware cloth for the top of the brooder to put an incubating or uh, a heat lamp on to keep the chicks that I incubate in or uh, brood in there. Here I'm referring to making a reference to the viewing window that I would be putting in. The flange, how it steps up, I use a block of wood to get a reference for the top lip. There I'm checking, trying to decide how big of a bottom lip I want, how high up I want the bottom lip to come. I used a utility knife at first and realized that it was not going to work the way I was hoping it would with the radiuses, so I decided to switch over to my 10 snips, which worked really good with the radiuses in there. And for the radius, I just used a, a fountain soda lid and found the right size that I liked. There you can, I'm referring to the lip that the hardware cloth will sit down onto. The block of wood I'm measuring was right at two inches. I used a long framing, my regular framing square to Make sure that I had the block of wood due to the rounded edges at the bottom of the Rubbermaid. Here, that flange, I used it, butted my framing square up against it, and got two my two vertical lines for the viewing window. I thought that my framing square would work for the top lip, but it didn't, so I used my smaller framing square and just squared the lines up. Here I used the, the utility knife again. It still had a dull blade in it, but I made two cuts per line for the viewing window, and it worked really good. Uh, just As you can kind of see, I'm going slow there with the cuts. I'm not going real fast. I'm not bearing down super hard, and eased the pressure up when I came into the corners. Here's the final cut for the viewing window. There's what the viewing window opening looks like. Slap the lid on quick. Here's the cable ties that I used. I picked them up at my local Ace Hardware store. The quarter inch hardware cloth that I used there. You can pick it up at any hardware store. Uh, it usually comes in rolls of like 10 feet by three foot wide or four feet. You can also check your local lumber yards. They might sell it by the lineal footage. Here, I'm using my cordless drill and a dull drill bit. Everything that had I did with this, it seemed to be dull, so. Here I'm putting the zip tie in to hold the hardware cloth in place. My granddaughter just yelled, break time, supper, I got my granddaughter Thunder with me. You can kind of see her back behind me. She's uh, gonna be my future little helper. She enjoys doing this stuff. Uh, she just came out and told me that it's time to take a break. We we're going to dinner. Uh, so I just want to get another zip tie done. And uh, wanted to get her in the video. She's peeking around the back of my head there. She's all camera shy, bashful, trying to see what I'm doing. She enjoys the animals and helps on the farm. But uh, as you can see here, when I drilled the hole, I drilled one in one square, skipped a square and drilled another. So I got a little bit wider of a space. When I went diagonal, I was going right across where two wires overlap each other, like so. Uh, so. We're gonna go go to have supper and uh, I'll come back later. And like I said, you don't need to watch me do all this and I'll get this zip tied down and uh, show you what it looks like once it's all said and done. And all I do is I take 10 or diagonal cutters and snip these and then I push them down. Uh, make can, sure that the points are down so that you don't get cut. You have a YouTube channel and I don't. 
because I'm an old man and you're a young little girl. Hmm, I want to have a YouTube channel. I want mine like similar to yours. Thunder and Garden. No, similar to yours. Okay. Well, how about uh, Thunder on the Farm? Hmm. You like that? You heard it here first, folks. My granddaughter's going to try her own little YouTube channel. I'll help her out with it. Thunder on the farm. I just finished up my second brooder uh, using a Rubbermaid slash Sterilite container. Uh, when I left off, I just started zip tying the lid on the screen. Got that all on. Zip ties. You know, and I just cut them off diagonal cutters. I went ahead and cut the view glass so that we can glance in and see the babies, big quail, and uh, whatever else we end up rooting in this. And there again, just drilled some holes, ran some zip ties, piece of plexiglass here. The thing I need to do is uh, pick me up a thermostat or a thermometer and uh, put it back in here, you know, centered in here, kind of close to the bottom where the uh, young quail will be so I can keep an eye on the temp and that. Give me a thumbs up if you like it, hit the subscribe button and uh, hit that notification bell so when I post a new video you guys get notified of it and uh, many thanks to my current subscribers. This is Dean from Dancing Critter Acres. Hope you've had a wonderful day. Hope you continue to have a wonderful day. And uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video. I'll catch you guys all later. Bye.